If you're my age, I know two universal truths to be true. Your back hurts. Look with your knees, look with your back. I can't do it. And you probably have a box of old electronics, maybe even a closet full that you say you're gonna use again and you never do. Maybe you even have an old PC. What if I told you you could hook that old PC up to a CRT? Sound easy? It's not, but we figured out how to do it and we're gonna share that with you guys right now. First of all, first of all, first of all, you're gonna need a working computer. This one in its current state is not. We have a Dell Inspiron 531S running Windows Vista. We're gonna have to open this one up and figure out what's wrong with it. All right, well, my husband's in here attempting to build some shelves with a dog. I am going to go out to the main game room and deal with this box because this box goes to this computer. Now, why would I spend money on an old computer? Well, I don't know, but this is my computer from 2007 and I bought a game in a thrift store and I can't play it until I fix this computer. Now, my husband used some magical green tool and he touched some stuff on the computer and then he touched the wire that was plugged in and he said, it's not getting any power. The power source must be dead. So that's what's in here. We're gonna try to replace it. Do I recommend doing it like this without gloves? No, but it's a computer from 2007. So uh, if it doesn't work, we send the battery back. Well, it's moment of truth uh, blah. It's moment of truth time. I got Frankenstein's monster put back together and we're gonna see if it turns on. And let's see. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Oh, <gasps> green light in the back, blue light in the front. Oh, I don't know if that's a good beep or a bad beep. Uh, well, it's still, showing my power light but the fan went off no the fan just slowed down and it's just making less noise now so i went up and got my monitor and this is what i'm seeing diskette drive zero seek failure cmos battery failed now i do know where the cmos battery is because when it was open i considered replacing that and we do have some of them here. All right, you can see it right in there. Right in there. I don't know what that number says. I brought down a 25 too, just in case. But we gotta take this little thing off, which doesn't take much. You're just that, then this, and then that clips in there. Ta-da! It is a 32. So we're gonna take that guy out and put a new guy in. Let's see if it works. <laughs> well, there's no weird beeping noises this time, but well, let's let's see. Okay. Ah, <sighs> what does this say? Previous attempts at booting the system have failed at checkpoint F3H. Whatever the hell that is. Let's uh, reboot it again. <gasps> Maybe. Are you as excited as I am? Don't shoot yourself. I think this is a very good sign. I think this is a wicked awesome sign. The screen's kind of off, but I think it's a wicked awesome sign. Uh, so. All right, well, Scott, I say that's a success. So far, so good. Yeah. We have to get it hooked up to the TV now. Yeah. That's, where the, that's the plan. So we're amateurs again and forgot to film this because we were trying to get it to work but i want to show you guys what's going on with the computer scott 
got it working. It was not easy because it comes in PAL. I'm gonna show you what we got when we started though. It does this, right? So you, you have to blindly get yourself down to the, what, six or seven? Still, this does not make it okay because you have to go down three more because when it came to us, we had that. And we were like, what the? So, like, uh, so I had to kick, I had to screw around with that until we got it. So, yes. There we go. So as a quick recap, this is what you have to do. First, you need a VGA cord. You're gonna hook that up to your computer and then to this device. You're also going to get into your menu options by pressing the menu button and you're gonna go seven button presses down. Once you get to there, you're still going to have a lot of static, but if you start pressing the button over, it'll get you to the proper region. I do believe that was three button presses for us to get to NTSC M. From there, you're still not going to have the proper screen size. You're gonna to have to go down again, and it'll say left bottom. I do believe it's a few button presses down. We needed to get to normal, and then that made it much better. But you still have to fix your horizontal and your vertical. We also went into our display on the PC and fixed the text size, because it was really small. We couldn't use the speaker on our TV. We did have to hook up external speakers that went into the PC itself. But honestly, if you have good PC speakers, it really doesn't matter. It wasn't an easy fix, but it wasn't an expensive fix. We ended up getting this for about $35 Canadian, and I think it's about $26 USD. Well, folks, that's it. That's all. I'm all booted up and ready to play some scratches. Scram, I wanna play. But honestly, if you guys found this uh, helpful at all, please comment below. Let us know if there was any questions or concerns with the videos. It wasn't quite clear, but I'm gonna play this game that I picked up at my local thrift store and uh, we'll play a little bit of the intro for it for you. What the hell did I just say? <sighs> These things never come without bloopers. In the outro, you will see the first of the intro of this gameplay. And until next time, game on.